Whoa! What the hell? What's inside this book? It's not letting me unplug it! Come on! What the heck's going on? Jesse? Wait! Jesse? Jesse! Jesse, are you okay? Jesse, what's going on? Not long ago, me and my friends moved into this house, and I think it's haunted. Okay, there's that sound again. Okay, let's see if anything's making it. What the? See? Nobody's here. This sound keeps happening, and I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's get out of here. Wait a sec. Whoa! Whoa, what the hell? Many of us have reported strange noises and other very weird, possibly paranormal things going on late at night. So we ended up doing some digging, and the realtor that sold us this house had this to say. The house was built on top of another house that was destroyed before. Some of the remaining items are still in the basement. Okay, 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 okay. Searching throughout the basement, I end up finding this crate, which might just be the source of whatever weird thing is going on. Now I am absolutely terrified of whatever the heck might be inside this crate and any sane person would have just moved out of this house by now. So if you enjoyed this content, do not forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Now I'm going to go back inside and without any of my roommates knowing, I am going to open this crate, see what's inside and try to find out why exactly this house is haunted. Okay, so I'm here and all of my roommates are asleep and I think it's Okay, I think it's time to finally open this thing up and see exactly what's inside. Okay, here we go and this crate definitely seems like it's pretty old. Let's see if I can get it open with one hand. Oh. Whoa! What the hell? What is this? There's like some sort of mist or something coming from inside the crate and look, there's stuff inside. Seems like a few, seems like a few records and whoa, check this out. Okay, so I have encountered a few of these cursed or demonic books before in the past, but this one looks pretty intense. It seems as if there's teeth that bind it together. But with all the detail that goes into crafting these types of books, the most interesting thing is always what's inside. So let's take a peek and... I cannot seem to open it. Oh, what the hell? Ah, okay. The book, I, I. Okay. It looks like the book, I like cut myself on it. So I'm gonna put this to the side and see what else is in this box. Cause that ah, hurt a lot. Now another thing I noticed that was in here are these records and it looks like there's three of them in here and every once in a while there's really cool things on these and I just so happen to have a record player so I'm gonna pop one of these bad boys in and see if there's anything on it that is of interest. Now I don't know if it's a coincidence or because I opened this but it seemed like all this paranormal activity is getting more and more frequent so I'm gonna try and get this over with as fast as possible. Okay, let's get this in. There we go. And let this play out. Okay, so the record player is on and it should start playing any second now. You have made a significant discovery. Okay, here we go. Archaeologist. 
sound that I just heard was the book, and it looks like it fell on the ground, but even stranger than that, it's open. Now, I tried my hardest to open it earlier, but it wouldn't budge, and now, not only did it fall off the table, but it's just open. If you guys have any idea why it randomly decided to open, leave it down in the comments section below. But for now, let's see what exactly is inside this book. What the hell? This is crazy! This is by far the most demonic book I have ever seen. Look at these markings. There's pictures of like demons. And it seems like the entire pages are written in blood. What type of creature is this? There's also writings, but it's not in any language that I have ever seen before. I don't know if these pages are filled with stories, rituals, or maybe even some spells, but I think it's best to not even try to bother to read them whatsoever. Okay, I think I've had enough of this book. It's time to put it down for now. Hopefully it stays in that spot. Let's take a look at whatever else is in this basket. Now we just looked at one of the records. And there is a few more things in here. One of them is this file that says to the church. Okay, you guys gotta see this. In the folder, we have pictures like this. And each one is more terrifying than the other. This one says, my wife was first to fall victim to the book. Her condition used to fluctuate, but now she's like this forever. I know what I must do. And it does look like there might be some substance, possibly blood on this picture. I don't know what he means by I know what I must do, but the fact that the previous house was demolished gives me a really, really bad feeling about this whole situation. The next one seems to be a young child. It says, somehow my youngest son now also shares the same fate as my wife. I thought it would be over after dealing with my wife. Equally as terrifying. Now there's two more pictures left, and this is really when it starts to get dark. Attempting to restrain my son, now my daughter shows signs of being possessed. This book destroyed my family. So whatever happened after he brought the book back, these pictures show that they were possessed by some sort of demon, most likely summoned from reading from this book. The very last picture seems to be of the man who found the book himself. My thoughts are clouded. I take this last picture of myself for the church to see what happened to me and my family. Now, before it's too late, I must deal with myself. Do not read from this book. And honestly, I didn't plan on reading from this book whatsoever because this is messed up. You can clearly tell from the terrifying features that this family shares that they were possessed by something truly, truly evil. And I, for one, don't plan on being a part of that today. Okay, so there's a few more things in here, but I'm really curious to see what happened next after he brought the book home. So we are going to pop in the second record and hopefully he recorded some more information and gives us more answers to what happened. All right. Let's move this and put this in. Okay. Let's get this playing. I have returned home, and with me, the book I have acquired from the Kandarian's ruins. The book is said to be made of 
And yet, he's able to read it. That doesn't make any sense. Wait. Oh no. He's reading from the book. No. I need to turn this off. Wait. It's not letting me unplug it. Come on. Something just like a huge gust of wind just blew our door open and sounded like something went upstairs. Hello? Sounds like it's coming from Jesse's room. Okay, I gotta go see what the heck's going on. Jesse? Wait! Jesse? Jesse! Jesse, are you okay? Jesse, what's going on? Jesse! Jesse! What? Oh my god. It's, he stopped. Jesse? Jesse? Oh. Wait. The record player. It's going off. But. What the heck's going on? What the hell? I have dealt with my family. It's and the third record. It's got to deal with myself. Guys, I don't know what's going on, but things are getting crazy right now. This house is haunted. And whatever is causing this house to be haunted has something to do with the items inside this crate. Now, after going through the crate, I found a lot of extremely disturbing things, but the thing that was the most terrifying was this book that would only open after it drank my blood. Now, I tried my absolute hardest to not read from the book, but after playing some of the records that came in the box, the person who was last in possession with the book decided to read from it. <gasps> oh, no. No, I need to turn off right now! We're casting some sort of demonic ritual on my house and there is nothing I can do to stop it. Now it seems like the paranormal activity in my house has doubled and there is also something wrong with Jesse. Wait. Jesse? He was, he was just upstairs unconscious, but maybe he woke up. Okay, I need to go check on him ASAP. Jesse? Wait. His door is closed, but I had it open when I came back downstairs, right? Maybe he went back to bed or something? Jesse! Hey! The hell? He locked it! Jesse! Who's there? Somebody there? Jesse? It's not funny, man. That was from Kentra, right? Ken, you there? Ken? Something very 
very strange is going on, clearly, and... Oh, wait. Something's coming. Who's there? Whoa! Oh, oh, what the hell is going on? Jesse, was that you? Jesse! Whoa! Oh! Nick! Jesse! Jesse, wait, wait, wait! What? You were just... What, what's going on? Dude, no. It what? was something else. It's downstairs. I just saw you do... Dude, what? I tell you. Okay, you have to go first. You have to. Okay, just okay. go. Just go here. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's go take a peek. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Something's interesting here. It's the back of your head, Nick. It seems like it. Is it? Oh. Felt great. Oh. <laughs> you fool. Okay. Trusting me behind you. As if you even had a chance. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> die before he even has a chance to find out the truth. And ever since then, Jesse's been acting like this. Like, I don't know what the heck is going on. What does that even mean? Nick? Okay, I don't know. But if there's anything that's going to help him, I think it's going to be in. There's like a cursed book upstairs. A cursed okay. book? Yeah, and I think, that, you know, if, if it was the thing that caused it to be like this, maybe it could help as well. Okay, so let's go upstairs and get it before Jesse finds us, okay? No, 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 no. no. What? I, I, I can't do this. What do you mean? It's too much, is it? 
Oh, he's cutting his hair. He's, he's oh, crazy. Okay, he attacked okay, me. Okay, 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 I don't okay. want any part right, of this. Um, stay here. Go in the basement and find a weapon okay. and beat me upstairs, okay? Okay. All right, be fast, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, the book was right here last time I saw it. Okay. All right. This is it. Right here. Oh, that was easy. Oh. Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, stay Jesse, you're not well, okay? Stay back. I I I have I can fix you, okay? There's nothing in that book. What that will ever see you. Jesse, please! <laughs> Okay, you, you just stay right there, Jesse. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. Okay, that was quick, quick thinking on your part. Good job, like, knocking him out for a bit, right? Surprise, it worked. I thought he might be too powerful, but apparently he's not. Okay, well, what are we gonna do now? Well, when I was downstairs, I was thinking, whatever you did, you must have done this, right? Like, he's possessed or something, something to do with the book, right? Okay, well, clearly he's possessed by whatever you did with that book. Okay, well, what does that mean? What do we have to do? I think there's only one thing we can do, Nick. We need to perform an exorcism. Not long ago, I opened this mysterious crate that had some insanely scary items. Now, I did this because I believed that this house was haunted. Now, something terrible happened, and through some strange events, we ended up reading from the text of this demonic textbook, and the result was Jesse being possessed. Now things were looking really, really bad until my brother was able to knock Jesse unconscious. And we have him tied in this room right now where Mike is trying to perform an exorcism on Jesse. From the sounds of it, it doesn't look like it's working, but I'm gonna go in there and try to help him out. And hopefully we can exorcise whatever demon we conjured inside Jesse tonight. How's, how's it going? What? Any progress? Uh, Nick, nothing's working. I, I can't keep doing this. I've, I've, I've tried everything I can. I've, I've said everything I can. Let me loose. It's, it's relentless. Nick. Okay, here, grab this. Let me try. Are you sure? Okay. Tell what me. What have you tried so far? I, the, the, the classics. The, the power of Christ compels you. Demon, leave my okay, friend. Okay, okay. Have you tried anything physical? Physical? Yeah, you know, physical, Nick, like, we'll, we'll motivate the demon to, to, you know, leave. But it, it's, it's still Jesse, Nick. Okay, watch, watch. Hey, hey. My nose is itchy. Okay. Help me. Okay, get out of here, Jesse. Oh, oh. Nick, Nick, Nick what are you doing? Uh, huh? Okay, are you going to leave now? Give me our, give me our friend back. <laughs> Your physical boost has nothing on me. Oh, get away. Yeah, huh? Oh, yeah. Nick, Nick, uh, Nick. Give me our friend back, okay? Leave me. up. Uh, Nick, it's not working! Jesse! Get Nick, it, you gotta stop! There? Stop! No, no, I'm not gonna stop what? now! Huh? Wait! Uh, oh, okay! Jesse! Jesse! Hey, no, Nick! Okay, Nick! Nick, just calm down! No, what? no, it's not working! Okay, it's not well, working! What are we gonna do? Like, nothing. Uh, we need to get Jesse back somehow, Jesse, right? Okay, we, we gotta think of something else. We gotta re strategize and recalibrate. Like, okay, okay. Maybe we missed something in the book. Like, Mike, it's... look! There's, it's not in English. There's nothing that we could use in here. Okay, okay. Well then, well then, think, man. Like, what, what, what? How do we even get here? What started this all? Uh, there was a record player, and the person who was in possession of the book was said this incantation. <laughs> He said an incantation from the book, and then uh, Jesse was possessed. Okay, okay, okay. A, a record player? Yeah. Okay, so it, so it played something. Yeah, it played this and it, weird chanting thing. And then something happened to Jesse. Yeah, it was right after I noticed something was wrong with Jesse. Okay, so Nick. Okay. Maybe that was like, like a spell, an incantation, right? Yes, of course. What if we you play the record man. backwards Do I... and reverse the spell? That's that doesn't make any. Does that make sense? Does. Reverse it makes sense. Uh, of course it does. The... There's nothing else we can do, Nick. Okay, 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 okay. Let's uh let's just get the record player in here and try to play it in reverse and see if that has any effect on it. Okay, everything's here. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Playing Stupid it in reverse. Peasants. Okay. Do you think it's 
Just right now, I'm gonna go back and try to wake him or something, okay? Are you, are you sure you're gonna be good? Yeah, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Okay, all right. Jesse? Oh, Jesse, you're up! Jesse, are you back? Is that you, Jesse? Mike? Uh, yeah! What the hell? What's going on? Well, Jesse, don't move, okay? Don't try to move. A lot of things <laughs> happened, okay? You were possessed for a little bit, okay? Was but it possessed? Yeah, I think what are you talking I, about? We, we got it all sorted out, okay? I think We did it! It actually worked playing everything in reverse like genius, okay, Mike! Good. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so check this out. Yeah. I've been looking through the book and you said that everything in here was not in English. Yeah, it's not. It's in like this weird language or whatever, <laughs> right? Nick, get your eyes checked. This is English. I could read this. Mike, you can't read this. Stop! I, I, That's not English! Okay, well check this out. <clears throat> it says that the demons that reside within are dormant but not dead. It goes on to say that they could only be resurrected through the incantations within this book. It also says that apparently no priest has been able to exercise this evil spirit. And what's really interesting is that apparently the evil spirits are able to like infect other people and spread. And lastly, th there's some good news here. Apparently these creatures or these spirits, these entities can be destroyed with weapons only from the church. Okay, so if they can't be exercised and they can only be destroyed with weapons from the church, Mike, what does that mean? Nick, I don't think it's over yet. Whoa, whoa, wait, the lights. You're right, Mike, something's not right here. Ah! 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 Mike, what the Get me What's going on? Mike, what happened? Mike? Wait, wait! He's gone. Mike? Mike! Okay, I need to hide. Oh, bathroom. Okay. Alright, I don't know what the heck is going on, but somehow Mike is possessed too? Just when we thought things were getting better and we finally saved Jesse? Okay. Now, he did say that the only way they can be destroyed is by a weapon from the church, right? And uh, maybe I can go back to the box and see if that I might have missed that might be classified as some sort of weapon. Okay. I don't hear Mike, so I'm gonna go downstairs very, very sneaky, get to the box and see if there's anything that I can find to help us. And it says, good luck. Okay, this must be it, right? Okay, come on. Uh, oh my god. It's some sort of knife. Now the person that recorded everything on those records did say that he was in contact with the church. I'm guessing that they didn't make it in time. Which means this must be a weapon that was made by the church. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> Looking for this? Uh, nope. Oh my god! Oh, I, I actually stabbed him! You uh, son of a- No! Stabbing me was getting me off. Mike, Mike, stay back, stay back! Oh, you're dead. What? Wait, the book, 
the knife! Yeah. Okay, Mike, You're you dead. want this, huh? Take this! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! The book! It's bleeding! Guys, it's actually bleeding! Oh. It's working! It's working! It's, it's actually working! I think I did it! Guys, guys, I think I did it! Oh. Wait, shh! That was... That was Jesse upstairs! I think... I think he was so possessed! Okay, one sec. Mike? Mike, oh my god, look! Mike, Mike, wake up! Mike, it's over! Mike, Mike, wake up!